Hi, hello, welcome back to the channel. This is Balaji, and today we have another SQL question, uh, which was which is pretty interesting, I would say. So let's try solving this. The question says, consider that you work as an analyst at Bookmasho. You have the occupancy data of a theater as follows. Write a query to get the list of seat numbers where four of them are consecutively booked or unbooked within the same row. So the table name is seats and we have two columns seat number and book status and the output says a6, a7, a8, a9, b3, b4, b5, b6. So to understand the output let's look at the table. So a6 to a9 we have a6 as 1 that is booked. Similarly a7, a8, a9 all of them are consecutively booked. Going to b, b3, b4, b5, b6, b3 is not booked. Similarly, b4, b5, b6 are not booked and all four of them are consecutively not booked. And therefore, these are the outputs. So, this is a very simple query if you know the logic. So, I am going to focus more on uh, getting you understand the logic more than the query. The query is pretty simple. So, let's start working on the logic. So, let's go to the query. I already have the data updated. For the purpose of simplicity, Let's only take the row A and not work on row B and let's include row B later on. Let me comment it. Right, we have only row A and the booking status. So to understand the logic here, I have a table. Right, we have a table. So how am I going to work on this is I am going to assign this uh, row number for each of these seats in an ascending order. Now I am going to join row 1 and row 2 and also check if the book status is same for both of them. So how is this going to work? Let me copy this. So let me paste the row above. So given the row number 17 that is row 9 does not have an output on the other table this does not get included similarly row 1 on b table does not get included because it doesn't have a respective a table i will remove this this is a this is b so it's been removed uh, also we're going to check if the book seat is the same so here they it's same it's same it's same but here it's different so this gets eliminated and so on and so forth these two get eliminated now the b table is again subjected to another join inner join where the row numbers are pushed one step higher so let me copy paste it so this does not have an output because it's, it's an inner join Similarly, this does not have an output. Now, 4 and 5 gets matched. 5 and 7 do not get matched. 8, 7 and 8 get matched. 8 and 9 get matched. So, we are just increasing it by 1, so it will not match. And the respective C booking matches. So, the last joint again, we are going to push it by 1. You see, this does not have an inner column for inner join, it gets deleted. Similarly, here it gets deleted. And here, given the booking status is not the same, this also gets deleted. And therefore, we have A6, A7, A8, and A9. So, let's look into the output. Yeah, we have A6, A7, A8, and A9. And therefore, this is the logic we're going to use. So, let's write the query first. So, yeah. so select all the other seat number, comma, book status. So, we will also give it the row number because we will have to join it somehow. So, let's give the row number here. Over. 
order by C number as ranking. Let's check. Yeah, we have the row number, we have the seat number, and the booking status. So let's consider this as a CTE. Master as so let's arrange it. Yeah. Select from master. Yeah, we have. So how is it going to get joined? So let's make this A. A. In the join master B dot A dot ranking plus one equals B dot ranking. So we have so it's running now. Make a mistake. Let's run this now. Yeah. Let's put an image in now. Master B, let us take a copy of it. Now, we are running plus one equals B dot ranking. Yeah. So, one and join it two because one plus one equals two. I just turn it to again on the right, and therefore the other columns, the other rows are skipped. And we also have to have the book status as a condition, and it our book status equals B dot book status. So, what do we see? We have only those where the book status is same. Yeah, this works. Alright, let's copy the same thing again and let's create a copy B of the same table because we are joining it again. Where it's B plus 1 equals C and B equals C. Another join, multiple rows have been eliminated and the last join here. So this becomes a D. C B, C, and B. Yeah, so all of these are eliminated. So the only remaining option is A6, A7, A8, and A9. This is matching with our output here. So this is all that we need. So let's just take the seat number. So it's A dot seat number, comma B dot seat number. Dot C number or B dot C number. Yeah, we have it done. So we have the right output, but we'll have to also consider row number B. So what do we do? Uh, I have another idea here. So I'll remove this. So here we're going to give a row number by segregating it on the letter A and B. So first we need to take the letter A and B. So we'll use a left condition. 
So column name here is C folder C folder comma five. Okay. Yeah, and what does this give? Let's check what the output is. So select all. Yeah. So if you see here, the row number has been assigned all together at once, but we need segregated by uh, letter A and letter B of row number A and row B. So what do we do? We partition it. Partition by by what? So given that the, uh, by the order of execution, the select statement is not been executed, so we we'll have to copy the same thing. Place it here. This is the C name. Okay, partition comes here. Right, so it's been partitioned properly where 1 is A1 and 9 is A9, and similarly B1 is B. 1 is B1 and B9 is 9. So let's open this. Let's see what happens. We don't need this. Okay. So what we have A3, FA, A5, A6, B3, B4, B5, B6. Yes. So therefore, we'll have to also put another joint because it's taking A and B together, but we need only A row or B row. So again, we dot C name equals B dot C name. Let's copy this easily. C C and this ensures that the join happens within the same row only. Right. So we have A6, A7, A8, A9, B3, B4, B5, B6. Oops. Right. So let's look into the output. Yeah, we have B3, B4, B5, B6. And this is your solid. And if you do not understand the logic, go through the logic part again. It's very easy to solve. And if you have any doubts, you can put it down in the comments. So, right. So if you have anything, do put it down in the comments. I'll be able to answer you. Thank you.